Hey guys and welcome to Dragon Quest Builders. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Chamber Potty uh, Trophy where you have to learn 50 room recipes. So there we go. I got the trophy as soon as I built my 50th room. So if you don't get it as soon as you build your 50th room, recount your rooms. Alright, so I'm going to just go into my base. I got this in Chapter 3, um, so you might be able to get it before, but I got it as early as Chapter 3. So if you're in Chapter 5 and you still haven't gotten it, really? Build some more rooms! Alright, so basically... In order to learn a recipe for a room, you just have to build it. So I'm just going to show you the recipes. So this is the first one. I think you build two things, whatever. Um, if this is going too fast for you, just hit pause and uh, look at all the recipes. I will, um, it might not be here as soon as the video uploads, but I will eventually in the description, I will list down every single recipe, just not these 50 recipes, but I'll list every single recipe for every single room in the game. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty long description. Um, so just, you know, at the bottom of the video, just click show more in, in, the, in the description and it'll be like a whole page of all the rooms. Um, but that will be, uh, <laughs> give me a little while so I can actually like, get all that stuff ready. So it might not be here as soon as it uploads. So you just have to build these. Um, the key mechanic to a room, it needs to be at least two blocks high. It has to be completely all around. You can't skip a corner. If you do like a diagonal corner, it won't count. You need to have a block um, and like a, the corner block. There needs to be a corner block and it needs to touch two other pieces of the block. Otherwise, it won't count as a room. But obviously, if you made rooms, you know how to make a room. Especially if you're here at Chapter 3, you know how to make rooms already. And it needs to have a door and a light source. Um, I think pretty much every single room in this you need a door and a light source. It doesn't really say you need a door actually in any of these recipes, so I kind of wonder if you need a door. I never actually tried it with making rooms without doors because then you wouldn't be able to really get in there. Um, but I'm pretty sure every single room needs a light source and a door and two blocks all the way around. I'm not sure about the door now that I think about it. I, I don't know. I think you need a door. Yeah, to build an empty room, you need a door and a light source and two walls. So yeah, you definitely need a door. doesn't matter what door you use. I think it's some of these recipes, though, you might need um, one of those swinging doors. And some of these um, materials you won't get right away, like some of the things you won't have in the first chapter or the second chapter. Like in chapter two, you get a bunch of fancy beds. In chapter one, I think you only get like one fancy bed if you steal it from the castle. Um, but I will, at the end of us going through this whole list, I will go to my bases in Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3, and I will show you the rooms. Um, another thing going forward is uh, make sure you build the rooms in progression. So don't just build, like, the in-suite bedroom. You know, make a private, like, make a basic bedroom, then, you know, make a bigger bedroom, then a bigger bedroom, then a private bedroom, then a shared bedroom, and then, you know, a master bedroom. Then end sweep bedroom. That way you get all those beds. So just make the highest one. If you make the biggest and baddest room, you won't get the recipes for all the little ones. If you build a room with four beds, you won't get the recipe for building it with two. Although, well, now that I say that, you will if you put down two beds before you put down the fourth. But you know what I mean. Different recipes like that. Um, another thing to keep in mind, um, they don't tell you this in the recipe. This is only word of mouth. The Catlin Garden, it needs to be like a medium-sized tree. For whatever reason, if you just plant the tree, like just a little sapling, it won't count. If it grows a little bit, it won't count. But in the middle, it'll count. And then if it's too big, it won't count. Um, so if you build it inside your base and you plant a sapling, the sapling will grow. I think like every day it'll grow. Or at least if you plant it, like one day it'll grow from a sapling to like a small tree and then it's either like a day or two it'll grow a little bit bigger and then in like another day or two it'll grow a little bit bigger and you, you can just sleep in your bed over and over again until it grows um but for chapter one where it's one of the challenges to build that garden um what i did instead of just building it outside around like trees in the environment i just dug a hole from a water source all the way to my base and then i just <laughs> blew it up because it was at the end game. Well, end of that chapter save, so I just blew up my base so I could just have this big little water pond in at the in, in the area of my base. So I just planted a sapling, and then when that sapling grew, it eventually popped for the Catlin Garden. Garden. 
but I'll show you that in a little bit as we go. And there it is, the Catlin Garden that I was talking about. So you see that plumberry tree? It needs to be like a medium-sized plumberry tree. Um, so just keep that in mind. And it's I think it's only a challenge for Chapter 1 where you have to build it so you don't get a block of water. Like I think in Chapter 2 you actually get a block of water source and in Chapter 3 you get a hot block of water source. Now I'm not sure if a hot block of water counts for the garden. I assume so. Um... But here's just a quick of this room. This actually doesn't count for anything yet. This is, uh, that weapons thing. So here's our little, uh, cool little muscle in. These, uh, paintings you find off of, like, enemies. I think, I don't know if I got it in a treasure chest. I might have gotten in a treasure chest, um, behind a troll or something. And then here's our little, uh, bath over here. The teleport room. Basic, simple, you know, put your first teleport to them. Just put all your teleporters in one room. Um, let's go upstairs where my room is because I don't want my room getting attacked by monsters. Um, a little tip for base building. If you build a moat like I did, um, like two or three down all the way around your base, um, even if monsters do come, they just go to the bottom. Um, you want to make flagstone um, around your perimeter because the, the mallet enemies, the little enemies in like purple and brown with the big mallets, they won't break flagstone. So if they come to your base, which... Uh, only scorpions and those really come to your base in uh, chapter 3. So if you just build a little flagstone perimeter and a little, like, uh, three block down, um, moat, it, uh, it keeps everybody. So whenever it says monsters are attacking your base, you can just relax because no monsters will ever get in your base. And then, of course, you can uh, build up like I have and put all your cool stuff up top in the sky so no monsters will ever get to it so all your cool stuff will never get destroyed like your cool awesome little roller coaster and your own private little bedroom and your own little workshop and your trees um it's good to put trees on the top because you know then they're not blocking anything all right so now we're going to chapter two show you some of my rooms here so again you see the flagstone all around my base so the mallet people won't break through although the final bosses in each chapter will just demolish everything so it's not even even worth it so there's a the graveyard, here's our teleporter, our triple, here's our little uh, water place, it doesn't actually say, maybe oh, some of the walls might have got destroyed. These are post um, boss fights, so some of the walls might be broken. So here's our Catlin garden, let's uh, just, so there you see the size of the tree there, um, it's medium, it's not small, it's not huge. Let's uh, fill in this corner, and now the room, there we go, Canton garden, Canton. Catlin, I've been saying Catlin, either way. So that's the size of the tree you need. So you don't want the smallest tree, it's kind of in the middle. I don't know, it's tough to describe. So here we go. They blew up my stairs. I had a nice spiral staircase going all the way around. But the final boss of this level just did some like spells and whatever. So let's uh, nerd pole our way, oops. Nerd pole doesn't work always perfectly in third person. There we go. Let's nerd, nerd pull our way up because my ladder room is destroyed and I don't feel like rebuilding my spiral staircase because they destroyed it because I didn't do the outer wall of my staircase in flagstone so it just got destroyed. Other hard rock materials are available but I like using flagstone because they don't seem to break flagstone as easily. Alright, so here's a look at our rooms. Excellent infirmary, just need a lot of beds. Got a little farm here but that's not really anything. Got our Bistro, barbecue bistro. We got some of our dragon green couches and our little balloon, our slime balloons. Just take a little break here, just to sit down, look at our balloons, maybe have a drink, look at some notes. All right. Then uh, here you see uh, more damage from the boss. Um, this was a twin private bedroom, so you just need to fill up these walls, and that's your uh, double. You just need two fancy beds and uh, two private lady signs for my lady guests. Do that with gentleman signs too. No sewing room with my chest. Private bedroom with the, the sexy light on the top, which I don't think actually does anything. The description makes it sound like uh, sexy. So here's my spiral staircase that got destroyed. Had a nice little room, but oh well. Post game. All right, so now let's go to chapter one. Take a look at our base here. Give you an idea. This is also post bass boss battle, so some rooms are destroyed on the left side. But I did actually pretty good. I think I only got. One of the bosses attack inside my base, so most of my base is pretty well secure. So this is my uh, fortress that got destroyed, actually. Oh yeah, because my dual doors got destroyed, my double doors over here. 
Yeah, the final boss just wrecks everything with his thing. So yeah, he ruined this front gate. I had to rebuild it quick. There's the boss battle, man. The, bo the first boss battle encounter you fight. And there's like a bunch of waves of enemies. And then the final boss, man. It really threw me off guard. Kind of destroyed my front barricade. Um, there's a little mine. I actually dug down there and got a bunch of dirt. And I used to dig with dirt. Alright, anyway. Back to inside. Making a bunch of rooms as possible. So here we go. Oh, another tip when you're building. Um... The music does change once you leave your uh, building walls, like your base. So it'll go, doo -doo 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 -doo, then it'll go, dum -ba -dum. so there's uh, one of the golem attacks. Um, also, when you place um, blocks, once you get to your outer limit, the block edge actually turns darker. Like you'll see it's like dark, it's because not always it's light, so you'll change, see like uh, dark corners around your thing. All right, um, illumination station, just a bunch of lights. Got our blacksmith station studio. Just have uh, your forge and your smith. And we got another barbecue bistro. Um, you can eat. Just make uh, eat every food you get. Just eat it, even if you don't need it. And then you'll get that uh, trophy for eating like eight different food sources or whatever. Something like that. You got your botanical garden upstairs over here. Got a little fireplace. Um, this was the museum. Um, we had um, these... Um, Item displays. Now these, I don't think I ever looted. Um, they just happened in my blacksmith studio. Um, they appeared here. So let's go down here and I'll show you that real quick because I bet you they probably made it. So we'll go here. So yeah, see they made they made two since I've been here. So equipment display stand. So that, they will make in the blacksmith studio for you, your uh, residence. So just make sure they have access to that and they will build that for you eventually. Um, just like any other materials. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you made it this far, thanks so much. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you guys are brand new. And uh